You don't want it to be too obvious if it was you, because that's not the point. But you still don't want to put up people who wouldn't be advantageous to you. So I think I'm definitely going to put up Tiffany as the first one. But it's the second one that's getting me. Possibly the best thing I could do in general would be put up Dash, because I could side with the girls to vote him out. Assuming Vito, I don't know. The veto makes it difficult because you don't know what'll happen. But then I could side with the girls to vote him. Well, no, Tiffany will be voting if I have her up. Ah, uh, I got This is hard. Dash would probably stay, and I still don't know where I stand with the boys. That's, that's truly. I feel like I don't know where I stand right now the most with Josh. After last round and what the girls are saying, the guys are gunning for me, and they're guys only. I don't know if I believe that. And, and I think this is the best test I can do and the best I can do to hide what my intentions might be. And I don't intend for Josh to go in the slightest. I think it's just the way I want the game to fall. Everyone I think would save Josh and send home Tiffany. And I think that might be the best game for me unless I defect to the girls by having split them up. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, so scratch the first thing. I'm gonna put up Josh and Desh. So I think that way I know where things stand. And if I have to defer to the girls or stick with Oscar and Josh, and we'll see what happens if I'm even the actual HOH. It would not be advantageous to put Meredith back on. Um, it would be advantageous to show her my alliance with her. And so I'm gonna put two boys on the block if I'm HOH because I need one of them to go down. Um, so I'm gonna put Josh because I know everybody likes Josh and I can use him as like a pawn. I'm gonna use Josh and um, Oscar. 
Alright, Dash, who are your two nominees? Uh, I'm gonna say Tiffany and Rita. Alright, thank you, Dash. If I win, I wanna put up <laughs> Oscar and Dash. Alright. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Okay. Hello everyone. It's time for nominations. Who's nominated? Oscar and Josh, you've been nominated for eviction. Please have a seat. Go. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello, top six. It is time for the veto competition. You all have nine pieces of paper numbered one through nine. The challenge is easy ish. You're making a 3x3 three three grid to where all the rows, columns, and diagonals add up to the number 15. How fun! Everyone has the same mathematical challenge. Okay? Is everyone ready? Begin! This challenge took a while, with the players receiving a few clues throughout the time period. Can I get a check? Yep. All right, Meredith has yeah. it. Nice. Congratulations, Meredith. Good job. Prepare for veto okay. and eviction. Okay, so this might be hard because we don't know who the HOH is. Maybe you are. I'm yeah. not. Okay. So it might be hard because if I ask you to pull me out, then whoever is HOH might pick you. No, I'm immune because I have the veto. Oh, then, okay. So then I'm free <laughs> to ask you to keep me only because between me and Josh, I know we all said that we were going to be three together. Right. No, but from the previous possible. and from the previous weeks, I even like warned you like he was going to pick you. Yeah. He's trying to kind of like flop a little bit. He's yeah. trying to feel no, threatened. The girls were telling me that like, it's a boys thing and the boys are all going to go together and that like I am being strung along. Um, I don't think they really knew that like you mm -hmm. and I had been talking and like Josh Probably and I not. were as close as we yeah. were. They're saying like oh it's boys 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 and of like course. if you don't join us you have no options. I'm like that's not what I've been told and I have no options with you. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get me to take one of the girls down and I'm just like well I don't know what you mean because mm -hmm. you are three and I'm not part of it. Yeah. So I have no hope by keeping you together. Mm -hmm. And so right now, what I can do is either like save you, hope someone else goes against Josh, and I don't know if we can trust it. Yeah. And then I don't know what we do. I can try to like defer the girls and hope that they aren't trying to like get Desh or Josh on their side. Because I don't think that Desh voted me and Josh. So it has to be one of the girls who won. I think it does. Maybe. So they are gonna be potentially dash to be like to if you pull me on, out, on the podium mm -hmm. at the end of it. Because and that's they what I'm afraid of. You. Yeah, that people don't want to bring and me to the end. If they do that, we can just pull dash with us because I still know that dash is too willing to work with me. Yeah. And with and you. I'm yeah. happy to have him. Yeah. Like I just thought I had a better relationship with Josh, but now I feel like he's been game playing a lot more than I thought he had. He's more he's closer to the girls at I this think point. He is, yeah. And I don't know, it's been hard to read, but yeah, I don't know, I just do feel more comfortable with you. I could try to like swim with the girls now and be like, oh, now the three of us, and they're very much like girl mm -hmm. power, and like, that's no, just, yeah, you can do that, they but... have not included me in that this entire game, so like, why would I take them with me now? Yeah, exactly. Um, that doesn't feel like it makes a ton of sense to me. And I feel like that's more, once they pick Dash and we get rid of, well, if we vote Josh out, which is gonna be sucked, but now it's gonna yeah. be the majority, I think, you, me, and Dash against yeah. Rita and... Tiffany. Tiffany, I keep on calling Lindsay, I don't know yeah. what that's about, but... So that would be... Yeah, if like we get me, you, and Dash, if we get him on board and it's us against the two of them... Then that would be easy. And if just, like, all we have to do, like, all anyone has to do right now is, that, is get three that won't budge. Mm -hmm. That's literally the only solution right now, mm -hmm. and you're set. We're fine. 
<laughs> I've now done a word challenge, I've done a physical challenge, and I want a math challenge. Comp Beast Meredith is alive and well. <laughs> I'm scared people are going to think I was throwing in the first half because I was not winning comps early. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it was not on purpose. I thought about some throwing and then I just didn't do as well. Uh, <laughs> But then, uh, when the, when it came down to it, the winds start rolling in. How you feeling? As you're eating pizza? No. I... am nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you nervous? I feel like it's Rita. Oh, really? I guess because of the, like, the all-female, like, type of energy mm -hmm. that she was coming in with. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it's, like, the only the only like, person that I can think of. Mm -hmm. Like I know like you and myself. Um, and I think like that's why I think it is number one. Mm -hmm. And I also want to check in like with you and all those <laughs> pieces. Yes. Everything aside, like, I just want to check in with mm -hmm. you and, and kind of see where, yeah. where you are A with me and mm -hmm. then like who you think it is. Yeah. I mean I'm nervous too. Like mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. Like I mm -hmm. I don't I don't know like what there is like a girls like there like from the beginning there have yeah. been a girls alliance, but I think that's being like super broken right now. Yeah. Like it's definitely being broken. It has to be broken. Yeah. But I don't think the guys is being broken. Like I definitely think that the guys are thinking top three are the guys. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, like, was I shocked that two boys went up? No. Okay. Why? Because I think that yeah. there's this alliance of men yeah. that are going up, mm -hmm. you know. And so because of that, like. HOH is yeah. taking it down, like taking one down yeah. to be able to play a level playing field. Okay. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. Okay. Because I mean that would make sense, yeah. right? You know? Because no, I get that. Because it is real and like I don't know Meredith like doesn't have an alliance with me at all. Yeah. Like she she doesn't want to have an alliance with me. Which is fine. Like I didn't <laughs> and I and I told her that from yeah. the get-go. I said, I don't I'm not angry with you. I'm yeah. not ang I like understand. I like didn't have a relationship with you because genuinely everybody kept putting you on the freaking block. No, so I'm no. like, what's the point of getting close to her? No. <laughs> so no, I mean no. that was like my thought process like for a while up until I'm like still yeah. in the game and she's here and I'm like, you know. So I mean that's my biggest fear. I'm glad that I'm on the block. I've been on the block the past two times, yeah. you know. But I mean I'm not shocked that two men are up there either. You. I, I did what are you not, nervous about? I, because I, I did not think there was, I did not think there was, I honestly did not think there was like a, a woman's like energy like anywhere. Like I honestly did not think that. For there's not second. anymore. And oh, so, you mean like in the beginning? Like, like currently. And oh, so like, there's not. And seeing two men up there, like, me, like me being honest, like mm -hmm. makes me, makes me, makes me now iffy. Sure. And so, the doubt that I did not have, mm -hmm. I do now have. But I don't, what it seems like is it's not a woman's energy. I think yeah. it's a leveling of the playing field. That's what it feels yeah. like. Because mm -hmm. I've been on the chopping block twice, yeah. I should be up there. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it was like a woman's alliance. I think it's like, because when I was, when I was mm -hmm. talking to the girls, it was like this conversation of like, we want to level the playing mm -hmm. field because we know that the men all want to go together. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's like this, let's take women all the way. I uh -huh. think it's genuine like, let's level out the playing field and like play from a place of like leveling okay. it out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I feel like. Cause I'm not, I don't think I'm the strongest player, Okay. you know, but I feel like they're trying to level it out. Well, I think you're, I think you're pretty strong. You're someone that like, we won the HOH together. So like you're someone that I, I consider. I mean, me too. But did you like, vote against me this last time? Vote against you? No. You promise? Oh, 100%. Like I will. So who voted against me then? I, I will <gasps> promise on that because I know like from, from the jump, like you're someone like, we made eye contact uh -huh. unless I'm like completely like misreading that. Yeah. Like you're someone that I'm like very confident in, uh -huh. in terms of like somebody I would like to see like very near like the top with me. Right. And so. Well, I wonder who voted for me then. Yeah. That's when you looked at me, I said, girl, don't you even dare. Um, <laughs> I know you got real serious. I was like, girl, don't you dare. I said, I have put, I have, I have put myself, <laughs> I have put myself out there. I'm like, don't you dare. Look at me <laughs> My God. Thank no, you. Serious. Like, well, because then you, but that means that they're breaking, that they're break, like yeah. the woman's alliance is not a thing then mm -hmm. because that means that the two women voted for me yeah. because I know Josh obviously didn't vote for me. Mm -hmm. But then that means that you and what's her name? 
Meredith? No, Rita voted Meredith. for me, and okay. then okay, that's that's why I was confused. Yeah, and I was like, he must have no. he must have voted for me. Okay, makes sense. No, because okay. I, I was like, I have a definitely a stronger like relationship okay. with, with with you, and like okay. I we good uh, right we good right. All right, I want to have some other people figure this out. Oh my god. So Oscar and I just talked, mm -hmm. and what we're thinking is that it's not likely to be any of us. Right. So it must be one of the girls. I know. And I talked to Tiffany and I've talked to Rita and they both said it's of course not them. And I'm like, I appreciate that initially I thought like this had Rita written all over it. But she was like, no, not me. And then I talked to Tiffany, she was like, oh, huh, yeah, no. And I'm like, okay, this does not seem like Meredith. Because then Meredith and I have been like, you know, since, yeah. we, since we had the time to like establish relationships, I'm like, yeah. we've only said the same you know, yeah. few names. So, I don't know, and that's what makes me aware well, and that. everyone's gonna deny it. All right. I was well, thinking. I would. Mm, I'll yeah. tell you. No, I thought about it. I was <laughs> like, well, what would I say? And I sat here, like, in the room with Claire trying to think of my nominations, and I spent so long, like, talking to myself, like, mm -hmm. well, if I do this, then this. Because for me, this was gonna be a test of, like, mm -hmm. how do people react, and who mm -hmm. can I trust? Mm -hmm. And it turns out Josh has been with everyone. Mm. So he's been telling everyone the same stuff, and I think he's been game playing a lot more than anyone gave him credit for. Mm. So what Oscar and I were thinking is I yeah. take him down. Oscar? Yeah. Okay. What we're assuming is that it's one of the girls, okay. and that you will then go up. Okay. And we would vote out Josh, and then you, me, and Oscar take out the girls, and we're final three. Okay. So if you're on board with that, like, we just need you to be solidly with us. Mm -hmm. Because if you defer to the girls, then he and I go, assuming competitions fall in a certain way. And mm -hmm. like, that's the one thing no one can account for. Yeah. That if we say we're three and then, you know, Tiffany wins HOH, then there's nothing we can really do about it. Yeah. Um, it, it puts us in a difficult situation. But um, assuming competitions and vetoes all work out the way we would like, Oscar and I are hoping that that's the way it plays out mm -hmm. because we've sort of lost faith in Josh since he was like nominating me and I'm hearing from the girls that like he is very afraid of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm only a threat mm -hmm. if I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. I don't what do you mean? Control, do your thing. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. I think. I think it's been. I think it's been very apparent that you're like like every conversation I've had, every conversation I've like had with you. And like I'm going off a period of my conversation with you, and then like just like that's a different conversation I've had with him. Like I don't get that energy or get that vibe. But then again, like I'm saying, like I'm not playing like a girls or a guys game. I'm playing the people who've like who, who, who right who who I've like been the most upfront with, and who's been like reciprocating that that same energy, and who someone that I felt I've been like trustworthy throughout the situation. Yeah. And so. I, I, that's not something that, that's come to me, and I think like, what specifically do you mean? Like, that he finds you as like a threat or okay. like wants to come for you, like I think you're someone who's like pretty like high up there. Mm -hmm. like, I, I don't know, I don't know, because like, I, I don't know, since you and I have gotten one on one time, yeah. we have clicked, mm -hmm. and we have been able to be honest with each other yeah. and pat each other's backs, and like, I know you talk to other people and like I don't know how that goes for you. Yeah. Is sort of like the, the element that I don't understand is like mm -hmm. um and, and that's your game. But like I just don't I, I feel much more comfortable with Oscar and I'm being told that mm -hmm. that Josh is gunning for me and that he, he does he did say to me that he finds me to be a threat. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell me that. I think you are someone that I imagine being like there at the end? Yeah. yeah, no. And we both play very strong games, and I want to be up there with people that, like, I feel like mm -hmm. have played the game mm -hmm. and have been right there with me. Yeah. And, like, we had different paths, but once... It was yeah. funny that you putting me up for nomination is what we're just like, oh, well, we're friends now. Right. That's literally the opposite of how she mm -hmm. I'm just filling you up on... I talked to Meredith. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to her? Yeah. Okay. I told her because at the beginning, I told her it's me, her, Josh, and you. Mm -hmm. Lately, Josh has been hanging out more with Rita and uh -huh. the girls. Mm -hmm. And he even tried to put, I mean, he did try to put um, 
married it for elimination. Mm -hmm. And I even warned her, like, hey, just FYI, yeah. he might pick you. But, um, so, I, I trust that Meredith is going to pull me out. Uh -huh. And we think that whoever is HOH, one of the girls, because they're not going to pick each other, they might pick you. But also, this hear me out, it's okay. five of us. Okay. Me and Meredith are like, at least if, if she's true to her word, we're together until like the end. Yeah. Just the same as I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. If they put you, then me, her, both for you to stay. Uh -huh. If they pick you, we're gonna save you because I think she has the the say in who goes next. Yeah. I don't know how do you feel. <sighs> well, you two are very strong competitors, so I would love to like continue to be in the mm -hmm. like with you. I think like both of you have been like pretty like upfront with in terms of like like my gameplay, like mm -hmm. how like I team you to like tell you, and I think like with the narrative, like I like kind of like her know like. Yeah, like all this makes me makes me like iffy, and I'm like, because we're also we're obviously dealing with someone who is looking to to get out a certain group, mm -hmm. and so I think like that was pretty like we don't know when you and Josh went up there, and it's like I think it was like a bouncing between like it could be any three of us. Yeah, once I'm out, then it's gonna be you and Josh, or yeah. potentially, mm -hmm. or Meredith and Josh, and whatever. Yeah, but uh, I just want to let you know that if. In the case that Mary pulls me out and whoever is H O H picks you, like mm -hmm. we're voting for you to stay. Like uh, I feel like it may be my time. Um, I hope it's not though. But I mean Oscar is a strong competitor, so I'm hoping that unfortunately the vote was to weigh that way. Um, do you have any idea who put me up? No. Um, I know that it probably looks like me because it's two guys up, but it's not me. Mm -hmm. That being said, I know between the two, obviously my voice is not going towards you. I've said that from the beginning, mm -hmm. I'm sticking with that. Yeah, I appreciate um, that. If I find out, I'll let you know, but at this moment, I don't. Okay. And then more so, I don't know if Merit's going to use her veto or not. Um, I don't see her wanting to, but maybe I because I do know, it. at least like you saw in the conversation we had last, like she does have tight connections to the guy, so mm -hmm. there's that potential, but at least with this, like I'm going to do whatever I can to cover you. Thanks. And if there's somebody to talk to, like, help that happen, I got you. Thanks. I feel as though I was placed for elimination by Meredith. I feel like she put me up, so I'm definitely going to have a combo with her. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be like, you put me up, didn't you? Like, you know, I don't need to do all that. So, um, Can I be sneaky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so I really appreciate that. Though. If At the very if, least, you know, we have one that's not going your way. Mm -hmm. I feel as though she, if she does use the veto, I think she'd use it on Oscar. I agree. Too. You know, and I think she'd put up one of the girls, which I hope it isn't you. Um, do you think it'd be you? I don't know. I feel like she and I are building, um, like, our game relationship late in the game. But it's mm -hmm. there compared mm -hmm. to, like, her and Tiffany. Yeah. So, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a conversation with her. Um, I, and I also think that she and I play the game differently, but I respect the way she plays. Um, so I don't know, but I also don't know if it's her. Yeah. Maybe? I, I feel as though it is. Um, I think it may have been her or, um, Tiffany. That's what I think. Yeah. Maybe one of the two, but. Well, let's go do some work. Yeah, it's time to pull but some again, votes out my, my, my box. <laughs> I think, again, as the one you got, you got me. Thank you. Appreciate it. First thing, um. Do you have any questions for me that I can answer? Like, sincerely. Um, I am also realized, after trying to throw that Hail Mary last time, that I need to respect how you play your game, too. I think just in the moment of moving quickly, I tried to, like, again, always, it's always about numbers for me. Yeah. Like, pull them one way, but I didn't respect the, like, relationship you played as well. Yeah. But when I said I want to work with you, I still do want to work with you. Yeah. So if there's anything that I can answer for you in order for you to, like, make the best choice for you. Yeah. Like anything that you need, let me know. Out of Oscar and Josh, who would you rather see go? For me, Oscar. Mm -hmm. No particular reason. Um, I know that he has better relationships with other people than he does with around me. Mm -hmm. I've worked with him in many boats, so I don't want to see him go. Yeah. But when it comes to our personal relationship, we've worked together, but we haven't had the closest one. Yeah, me and Josh have. Sure. 
Um, but that's okay. I think I've also made relationships in other places that game can work. Yeah. But do you have a preference at this moment? Uh, I'm planning to use my veto on Oscar. Okay. Fair. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. No. Um, he and I have been very solid the whole game. He's just the person I think I trust like the absolute most right now. I feel that. Um, I know it's big on like how you play the game, so I get yeah. that. Yeah. You know. And like I had trusted Josh a lot, but I think right now he's close with everyone and he's played the game the same with everyone and he told me he does see me as a threat and so now I, I would have defended him to the tooth yeah. prior to the last couple of rounds yeah. but now that he is doubting me because I would have had his back and if it was me, him and Oscar then I would have fought for that if we had agreed to that but he started to see me as a threat and I was like, but I'm going to fight for you yeah. But if you don't trust me, then it's not going to work. And then I am a threat to you if you don't trust me and I can't trust you. Yeah. Um, so I'll just have to see who the HOH nominates in place of Oscar. Um, that would be very telling. I won't bother to ask you if you're HOH because if you wanted me to know that, you would tell me. I'm going to tell you I'm not. Okay. And I think um, I get why it would look like it's me because it's two guys up. I mean, I figure it's one of the girls. I figure it's one of the girls too, but I didn't think it was you. And although I've been working really closely with Tiff up to this point, she hasn't told me it's her. Yeah. But as soon as they went up, I was like, oh, this 100% looks like I did it. I, but I assumed it was one of you. I had no idea between the two of you which it was because I knew it wasn't me. Yeah. Um, That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I know, especially with this, like, it's just based on trust. All I can do is tell you yeah. what I know. And what I'm assuming, but I also understand if you do use it for Oscar, like sincerely, even still want to work with you, no hard feelings on that yeah, because yeah. it's best for your game. Yeah, I wish I had a closer relationship with him at this point, but I don't. But yeah, I have worked with him, so I still trust him. Yeah, so okay. right, you got my support. You know? Yeah, I think my game is definitely getting more complicated at this point. Um, an alliance that I made from the beginning and have been fighting to keep together since the first game, me, Josh. Abby, well, some of them are leaving at this point now, but three girls, three guys. And I knew at some point it would have to, like, eat itself from the inside, but it's hard to pick alliances right now at this point. I care about everyone that we've got up to this. I was just trying to, like, fight for numbers, I suppose. That all being said, too, though, I know that it's going to come down to do people trust me I think the majority of them do, but I also can definitely see that this nomination looks like the nomination I would make. Because I've been so adamant about, like, despite it being for numbers, having girls and guys, but it's just kind of the way it played out, you know? We'll see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that I can keep the people I trust the most close, but... And that's all I've got really right now. It's just like it's getting complicated. And I'm hoping that the people who I've like given information to and like tried to keep like in this game look close to me and in large numbers believe me when I tell them. I'm a nervy, 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 mm -hmm. nervy. Um, I haven't talked to Meredith yet, so I don't know if she's going to use her veto. Mm -hmm. If she does use it, I don't think it's going to be on me. I think she would veto Oscar up. Okay. Really? Yeah, genuinely. So if she does, that's gonna be a twist. Like I don't, I don't, I think I'm gonna be up for elimination tonight. I think. Okay, well I'm not voting for you. <laughs> Thank you. Like <laughs> I, I really hope you like know that I didn't want to put you up last round, uh -huh. and that's why I like I know you wanted to keep playing, and mm -hmm. you really like. Yeah, no. I like respected right. that, yeah. so I wanted to like you know prove it to you that I didn't put you up to get you up. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. I put you up because I had no other options. Yeah. You know. I'm annoyed that Meredith got veto though. Yeah, and I. I mean, like, I'm annoyed, but like. Yeah. Only because she's probably gonna use it. You, you think know? so? I mean, maybe she won't. I uh, I. But then if, if she puts, but I think if she, but she, if she does, she puts it her, herself. Oh no, she can't put herself in jeopardy. No, she can't. But I think if she doesn't use it, I think that means that she's H O H. Oh, interesting. Because if she doesn't use it, I'm getting the vibe that those are the two people that you wanted to be up for elimination, you know? 
Yeah, I was just talking to Desh and I feel like, because he was saying, I'm feeling weird because I feel like now it's two men up there and like it's this woman thing. Yeah. And I was telling him I don't think that's what it is. I really truly think it's like a trying to level out the playing field. Like because, and I'll be honest, like I was I was not annoyed with you by any means. I'm annoyed with like the structure, obviously. Yeah. It's so fresh. It's, it's so frustrating. frustrating. That's what nothing, I thought. I was like, y'all are not making it easy on no, me. It, but it's nothing against you. Yeah, and no. like, I understand your position 100%. But then like I was placed in a position where I'd like kind of screwed my game because I was talking to Meredith and um, Meredith and Rita and Abby before we got put out like to, to vote. And I... I like told him I was like I'm so annoyed. I like thought that me and Josh were like super cool, and now I just feel like the boys are just going for each other, and I'm annoyed. None of my lines is anymore, but I understand why. But I just don't like. I don't want to play in a field that's like only boys. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't want to, and I, that's what I feel like it is right now. Like I truly feel like you, feel that you way? three. Yeah, I feel like you three boys are like. You guys are going for like just the three of you when like my mindset has literally not been not like enough. just girls like. Yeah. My mindset has not been just girls the whole time. Like, I may have, like, played that game for a little bit because I needed to stay in and I needed to do that. But, like, I told you from the get-go that that was not, yeah, you like, did you, you know. Me, and yeah. so it kind of, for me, it was just, like, I thought I was with him, you know. I, and so it was just more so annoying than yeah. anything because it was, like, Now that I think about heck? it, I didn't even realize that I put up only girls. Yeah, I literally so that's, that's, but that's what it made it look like, right? Yeah, it was, like, yeah, okay, yeah. so then it was, like, Meredith. And so, like, I kind of, like, went back at Meredith and I was, like, Meredith... Like, I'm not, I, like, the boys are talking about how they want to get you out next. Like, honestly, you know, like, uh, like why wouldn't they? Of course the three, yeah. want, the three boys want to go up together. Like, and so I told her that. And do I think that? Yeah. And that's what kind of, like, freaked me out a little bit, mm -hmm. you know? Now I see, like, how it came across. Mm -hmm. And thank you for telling me because I didn't even realize that that's what how it came across. <laughs> but now that you said that, I want to steer clear from that narrative. Mm -hmm. I don't want that narrative that I'm only keeping the boys here. Mm -hmm. um, I just... Honestly, I just felt like Meredith was gunning for me without telling me, and that's why I was like a little uncertain. And I wanted to keep our alliance, like, I wanted to keep that a thing, like the mm -hmm. top six alliance that we had. Unfortunately, right. it didn't happen. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little, I don't know what's about to happen. Yeah. I mean, I'm not voting for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not voting for you. But I say that with, like, hopes that you don't go just like man strong yeah you know and that no, like that i'm gonna go talk up. to people and save your ass because i don't want i don't want you to go yeah you know now that you brought that up <laughs> now you're good yeah okay. yeah i just want to know have you come to like a decision on anything yet um i'm pretty sure i'm going to veto oscar um just because like he and i have been tight this whole game i believe the things he says to me he's been like nothing but honest and loyal with me and he told me he would do this if like He's told me rounds ago that if I was in this position that he would veto me. Yeah. And I, I do believe him. Yeah. When I was up last time, he told you, like, pick me for the veto competition. And I know he had me in mind for doing that. Um, and so I think he has earned this from me. And, like, you did put me up. You told me you see me as a threat. And, you know, like, I, I really, like, wanted us to be solid. But you sort of being afraid of me that way, even if you didn't want me to go home or intend for me to because of the double veto, it still shows me that I don't have your trust, mm -hmm. which makes it hard for me to give you mine. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea who the HOH is. Same. Not a clue. Not a clue. So I don't, I have to assume it's one of the girls. Do you, I think so too. Yeah, I do think so too. It, I, to me it's got to be Rita or Tiffany, unless someone is making a move to trip and fool us all. Yeah, and it's something shady. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I have no idea what it would be. And that's how I know it's not you, because I know if it was you who's the HOH, wouldn't you wouldn't veto anybody, yeah. right? So, um, I appreciate the honesty, but, like, you telling me that, like, hey, I'm going to veto Oscar out, because yeah. I was honest with you last round when yeah. I told you, like, I had to put you up. Um, so I totally understand like where you're coming from with that. Like there's no bad blood yeah. with that at all. Um, it feels like if it's one of the girls, then Dash will go up. That's what I think so too. It it seems that way, and like it'll be much more clear who it is. Um, if it is him, then it'll definitely be one of the girls. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like I don't know. So it's not like I intend for you to 100% go home by doing this. It is just like you know, the best move that I can make for myself is to protect Oscar because I feel like 
he and I can, can find a third and make it through, whether that's with you or Desh, or if we take on one of the girls. Yeah, no, I totally understand that, honestly. And if I am, if I do stay, I hope that we could, like, put anything, like, behind us, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't, like, come for you just for you, like, not picking me, you know what right. I mean? Right, no, completely. Um, because, like, like you said, like I said, like, we're in the hardest, like, part of the game right now, so. It is, it is very no much about picking your battles right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you my hands. I'm H H. And, yes, I know. Gag, um, I can't gag, breathe. gag, 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 gag. And the reason why I put you up is because I needed to gain alliance with Meredith. If I can gain alliance, I can't breathe. Just what this one is. This is ridiculous. I just got over, like, a bad sickness a couple weeks ago. I think I'm still feeling the repression. Okay. Um, so... My thought process, and I'm going to be frank with you because yeah. I've told you from the get-go. You have. Even and though I, you kind of burned me a little I'm bit. So, and I told you, like, I looked okay. at you and I was like, I hate that I have to do It's this. okay. I'm just letting you know. Like, I'm showing you my hand. Yeah. Okay? And now this speaks volumes, so I hope you know that, like, this puts you... I just want you to freaking yeah. know, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, put my ass out there for you, but this is why. So this is just... Hear me out. And I don't want you to share this with other people. And if you share with other people, I'll freaking know you'll share it with other people. I trust yeah. you, and yeah. I don't know if he's being scared. Slithery over here, I like don't Slytherin. Break, I don't break pinky promises. Okay, so um, the reason why is because if I want to put Meredith up and then Meredith and like a guy up, it doesn't show Meredith my alliance to her. And I'm not playing this whole girl thing. She just truly doesn't have an alliance with me. So if I want to play like a strong game, I have to like keep her in my game, you know? And like, yeah. I have to show her like I'm not after you. Yeah. And so I had to keep her out. So I had to put two boys up because you guys were playing this like boy strong boy, game. That's yeah. what it's feeling like. And that's you. what it felt like last time. So I put you in the weakest link up to me, right? Oscar, I want Oscar on. I told you from the get yeah. I want you in my top three. You yeah. Know? Um, it all makes sense. Like it really does all make sense. But now you need to go talk to Meredith because I don't know about this whole veto thing. Yeah. But from my point of view, I'm not voting you out. You are not my target. You are up there because I could not put Meredith Wait, you can't even vote though. Right. I know. Like, in general, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. voting you out. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to people. Okay. But you're not, like, the person I'm targeting at all. Like, genuinely, at all. And I put you up there because I think that you have the most loyalty with every single person across the board, more so than anybody else. And so because of that, I was like, okay, he's the strongest person, and then who's the weakest besides, like, Meredith yeah. that I can put up? And that was Oscar. And mm -hmm. so I had, like, I did that so that we could all vote Oscar out, which is what I'm trying to do is break okay. the alliance of the boys. Cause I I'm like, you're doing. Yeah. Hey, I just want you to know, like I'm also in this too, yeah. you know? And no, so yeah, you're playing. And I respect that. Like, you're playing yeah. your own game. And right. that was so smart. That's <laughs> so, such a smart move. But that, but that was like my mindset. I'm like, it would be stupid if I put two girls up or if I put, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm shooting my shit. Like I have right. to be able to put two people up that, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anyway. So I need to talk to Meredith too, because I'm like, yeah, no, it was a smart move, but like, if I get eliminated, I'm gonna have to hate oh. you for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I um, wanted to put up Meredith, obviously, but I wanted, I, like, I want to show her my allegiance, and so I didn't put her on because of that. Although I'm pissed she got veto because now I'm gonna have to put somebody else in there. I know she's gonna put that down. Um, Oscar. Oscar. She is 100. percent Okay, they have a pretty good alliance, huh? Yeah. Thank you. They have an alliance. Who? Do you ask him when you're in the middle of the alliance? Yeah. He's gonna... Oh, damn, that came out so easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Golly. Just, again, like, Wait, my game's been, like, giving information to people I trust. I trust mm -hmm. you. Yep. Yeah. And although I did fuck up the last round, I'd take four shots. I, 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 I tried to do a Hail Mary, it did not work. <laughs> um, I trust you. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got. Yeah. I know. I just. It, I know. I'm H and H. Mm. I get my cards tight, so okay. I don't know. Now I'm telling you. Mm. Does it make sense what yeah. I did? Yeah. So Meredith and I have not had an alliance at all the whole game, and she's made it very clear to me that, like, she has no alliance with me, et cetera, but um, like, she'll go to vote me away all the time, like forever for the end of this game. But um, to like show her that like I wasn't just trying to play this like 
game, one for myself, but like I didn't want to like get her, like get rid of her and strong arm her, which is kind of like a backdoor thing. I put up um, Oscar and Josh. And the reason is because if I put up, um, I'm losing names, if I put up Meredith and Oscar, um, well, first off, Meredith just got vetoed. And if I would have put her up, it would have shown like Tiffany's still after me. And so I'm trying to like get her to understand, like not get her to understand, but I wanted to show her like my allegiance to her and show that like I'm not after you. And that's why I didn't put you on the chopping block. And I'm just trying to level the field. And Josh is obviously not going anywhere. At least I don't think he is because he's a top player and everybody likes him. Um, he's a social person. But now I'm struggling because if Meredith uses her veto because she freaking won again, like literally, what the frick? Three times, this woman keeps winning freaking vetoes. Um, she won her veto again, so I'm afraid she's gonna use her veto on Oscar. If she uses her veto on Oscar, I'm worried that I'm gonna have to put somebody else up and I don't know who to put up. I feel like at this point, I have potential to go any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That like, now that there's only two girls, I can be the third. Yeah. And like, I can also like make a way with the guys. So for me, mm -hmm. like, there's certainly some more advantageous combinations than mm -hmm. others. Sure. But right now I feel like I can make anything mm -hmm. work. Yep. So I'm H-O-H. <laughs> I think Did you assume? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I think it was between you, you and that? Rita. Oh, okay. Um, because there weren't any girls up there. Yeah, just because it was the two guys and I didn't think it was Dash. I didn't think it was either of them making like mm -hmm. a secretive power play. Yeah. Um, I thought that was a possibility, but an mm -hmm. unlikely one. Uh, and. I believed Rita when she said it wasn't her. Mm -hmm. She just like was. She's always been honest with me, yeah. and we've always prioritized that with our yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. um, and the only person logically left was you. Yeah. So it was just the most obvious choice. Thoughts? I'm not surprised. I, mm -hmm. I think it's probably one of the better moves for you. I'm honestly surprised that I wasn't mm -hmm. up there. Um, but like at the end of the day, if I win the veto, then same result. Right. Um, and so for me, it, it's just no matter where the numbers fall right now, mm -hmm. um, that I don't have a lot of trust for Josh anymore. And I'm sure mm -hmm. like you might feel similarly mm -hmm. that now I think he's told all of us the same stuff. Mm -hmm. We're all like, oh, I felt like I could trust Josh. Yeah. And if you're still saying that in the present tense, feel like you can trust right. Josh, then I think you might be making a mistake. Sure. Yeah. Because I think he's told everyone the same thing. You think so? Yeah. And, and now like last round, putting me up, he told me he thought I was a threat. And fair enough. But I'm only a threat to you mm -hmm. if we're not in it together. Right. Okay, so can I be honest? Sure. And frank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so when I got HOH, my first thought was like, I, like I genuinely want to show you that like I'm not just out to like push you away. Yeah. Like that was, and so I knew from the get go I was not putting you on the block because mm -hmm. I was like, I, I like meant it when I said I'm not an ass kisser, but I also like respect you greatly for mm -hmm. the game that you've played and because of that like your intellect is very, like like enjoy it very much and also like you're killing it um but i wanted to show like essentially like this loyalty that i have for you and i'm not again like i'm not trying to be an ass kisser but like i wanted a level playing field and i didn't feel like there was a level playing field so i felt like i needed to put up two guys yeah one that like a lot of people liked which now i'm understanding that maybe people didn't and another one that i could potentially just get off right mm -hmm. um and so i wanted to like essentially show you that i did not I wasn't after you yeah. and that I'm genuinely like I want the best person to win mm -hmm. um, and I, I want to work with you like and that's why I didn't put you on the block and you may be like skeezed out by that and you're like Tiffany you freaking haven't made a relationship with me the whole time but I felt like this move was to show you that I'm not just like out to get you no I, I think it's a very believable thing like it probably is one of your best moves mm -hmm. for like you and Rita to try to get me on board and gain mm -hmm. my trust and, and get us the final three. Right. Because like, what But that's not even, that's not yeah. even like my plan necessarily. Like, yeah, it's not an all girls, yeah, it's not an all girls game for me. I wanted a more level playing field because I don't, as you were talking earlier, like how you, like you're non-binary and like, I didn't like that all the boys were kind of like, I didn't like that they were like, we're gonna, we're gonna take you. Like two minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't like that they were like, 
and don't get me wrong, like I understood why they were doing it. Like I understand why people are making the moves that they're making. Yeah. But I wanted a more level playing field of not just like men only or women only. Like I wanted a more level one, and that's why I did what I did because I wanted to show allegiance to you, but then also to show like I want a level. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I, but I wanted a level playing field of like I didn't want just I didn't want them to knock you out and then three men be at the top. I don't want it to just be this allegiance of men and allegiance of women. Yeah, and like, you know. and if they are working together, then like disrupting those numbers means people have to remix right. and reconfigure. And I think is fun for the game. It is. You know? It is. It is definitely the point at which people are trying to figure out like, what maybe one person do I trust the most, mm -hmm. and who is the third one? Right. And like, you have to keep that open as we're sure. going forward because we don't know who's the next yeah. stage. We don't know who wins veto. Like we don't know mm -hmm. what happens next round. And so like being able to get to the top with anyone yeah. is the best game right now. And I do agree that like, even though I'm not sure if it was really like boys, 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 and they mm -hmm. were gonna gun for me because right. that's not what I'm getting from them. Which is just crazy. But anyway, yeah. it doesn't matter, it doesn't like, matter, it's over. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who's, who can trust who and yeah. who's getting lied sure. to, and it, it very well could be me, but like, I don't know, I don't mind one of them going because, sure. you know, if I, if I have an open playing field of people to work with who all see my value and right. wanna work with me, right. It's fine by me, and I think right now, like, almost any player I can work with. Okay, so, who do you think would be the most advantageous to put on the block since you're going to take Oscar down? Uh, I would say Dash. Okay. Because that way we get rid of a boy out of So, um, she is playing her veto, so one of y'all are going to be up for elimination. Me or him? Yeah, one of y'all are going to be up for elimination, because those are the only options for elimination. Um, I think so. Because she's vetoing yeah. Oscar out. Abby is a, I mean, um, Tiffany's a meme. And so is um, Meredith. So, it'll be one of y'all. Crazy! This is crazy! You know, honestly, I'm stressed. I'm not stressed. I mean, I, I understood like, the games that we've played up to this point. Yeah. It's just gonna come down to like, numbers and who you're closest to at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the truth of the matter like so in a weird way I kind of have a piece about it like I hope it's not me I hope that the connection I made are enough but um I don't think I've played a solid game up to this point yeah like, I think we all have yeah. literally everyone here has played a really good game so tune in next week when we all bomb snatch game <laughs> 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 but uh, I mean hey uh, before I can like, good luck no same same because look, because it's gonna be against me. It's gonna be fucking Damn. I know. Isn't that a gag? Gag a time, bro. Literally. <sighs> and if I'm saved, I don't know what I'm gonna do next round. Like, I genuinely have no idea. We'll figure it out. Yeah. You have up to this point. Mm -hmm. And I, don't know, I guess, and it's interesting at this point because I like we're all, like, to some degree, have. The majority of us have some type of relationship. Like you may have like mm -hmm. one light there, but the yeah. rest of them are like someone you can reach out to and make something happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I agree. Maybe that's again, I said this from the beginning, my optimism is gonna be the death of me, so <laughs> like you're gonna see me going out and be like, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fair fair enough. Optimist. When's your birthday? Jerry Toy Night. Oh. Aquarius. Yeah. Now we just wait. Yep. Now we just wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's just jealous. It's whatever. Yeah. I'd be too. Oh, yeah. Hello, top six. It's time for the ceremony. Meredith, you've won the power of veto. What are you going to do with it? I will be taking Oscar down. Alright, Oscar, you've been removed from the back. Alright. The anonymous HOH must now name a replacement. The replacement nominee is Dash. I'm sorry, Dash. Gag. <laughs> Which means our final nominees for the week are Josh and Dash. Josh and Dash, you are this week's final nominees. At the end of this ceremony, one of the two of you will be leaving the Big Brother game. But before your fellow house guests vote to evict, you each have one last chance to plead your case about why you should stay in the game. Josh, you first. Um, I played the most honest game that I could. I know last round it may have seemed shady, but I had no options really. 
and on top of that, I had to nominate like everybody, <laughs> so that really sucked. Um, but yeah, I just feel as though I deserve a spot in the top five. I feel like I worked for it, but I worked very hard, um, and I just hope that I'm in good graces. Um, I've been as honest and upfront with all y'all as, as much as I possibly could, and I don't think I've ever really told a lie to any of you. And I've like been honest with you, and honest with you, and honest with you, honest with you. So I would just hope that I am here to stay. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> I think I've been like honest with each and every one of you, and you all know that. Um, and so that is that is, that is my, my bit. Like my actions speak much louder than any word that I can say uh, here. All right, and with that, it is time to vote. Everyone's going to get in line. Who do you vote to evict? It's hard in, at this point right now, but I vote to evict Josh. Thank you. Hello, Tiffany. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? I am the HOH. Not very oh. anonymous, though. <laughs> I told everybody. All right, your secret's safe with us. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Reba. Hello. How do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Dash. How do you vote to evict? I will vote to evict Josh. Thank you. So I voted for Josh because he lost my trust last round by nominating me, telling me I'm a threat. I was not going to be a threat to him. Um, the plan, as far as I knew, it was he, Oscar, and I, but what now I'm hearing is he was telling everyone that, you know, he was with them 100%, or at least, like, implying that sort of thing, and stringing us all along the entire game. And I don't think he's necessarily <laughs> wrong when he says he's been honest. I think he's just left out that he had repeated the exact same stuff to pretty much the entire cast. It's time to detour from the plan and just do the thing that I think will get me to the end. And right now I think uh, everyone is willing to work with me. Everyone is willing to, to give me that chance because they know that like they might not be able to stop it with the competitions. Um, and so I think this is best for my game. I think I can trust Dash more because he hasn't given me a reason not to. He's not been in a position of authority since he nominated me. Um, but that's when we started establishing trust. So I think as far as I know, he's got my back, but I think the girls are scrambling to, to get my trust as well. I think I'm in a pretty good position right now, as far as I know, unless they all turn against me in the next round if I am left without power. But We'll see what I can do. We'll see if the competitions favor me, and I hope that this was the right move. And I, I hate to see Josh go. I, I was having such a good time with him, but him losing trust in me and me finding out that he's been telling everyone the same things and offering everyone friendship means that I'm never going to know if it's genuine and if it was really meant for me. So that's why it just it has to come down to him. Because Mary pulled me out from the nomination, which I will be forever grateful. Um, and talking to Meredith, since now I can tell that we're a strong pair, we talked and we said that we were gonna both Bosch, Bosch, Josh out. And I already talked to Dash and I told him like, me and Meredith are strong and with him it's gonna be three against the two girls. So hopefully Meredith is not the HOH because at this point we don't know who the HOH is. So if Meredith is not the HOH, she, she gets to vote. So at this point it's going to be two votes to Josh and one for Dash. So Dash stays and then he joins me and Meredith and potentially it could be the top three if we keep winning the competitions for HOH. So that's the plan and let's see how it goes. Once I know some sort of vote, the evicted house guests must gather his belongings, tell everyone goodbye, and walk out that specific door to end their game. By a vote this. of two to one, Josh, you're going to be the house that he's away. Atrocious. I'm sure I see it. Only three more evictions stand in the way of the final round. The house remains divided with Desh in the middle. Find out which three players make the finale next time 
on Luke's Big Brother 19.